It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon in the Capel Valley in South Central Saskatchewan and we're in Lumsden. It's June 6, 2015, mostly. And Lumsden has a trestle. This line was built by the Canadian Pacific Railway for the Capel Long Lake and Saskatchewan Railway in 1890. The company built a combination station section house at mile 18.0 from Regina on what it called its BA branch. This burned in 1908, two years after the Canadian Northern had taken over operation of the rail line and they replaced it with a third class station, which was sold off as a museum in 1977. Canadian Northern and later Canadian National called this their great subdivision of the Saskatoon. Looking westward down 2nd Avenue from the corner of James Street, Main Street. The post office. Not the old, old post office. Which Thomas B. Hill opened in his grocery store, his general store, on October the 1st, 1892. On the corner. Third Avenue there, the municipal offices opened in 1971. The village was incorporated on December the 29th, 1898, and became a town on March 15th, 1905. The population is up to 1631 in 2011. We're on Third Avenue, and this is the Community Centennial Center. Back on Second Avenue, we find a new Lumsden Hotel. The original burnt in 1977 and its replacement in 1998. Look at these two. On the corner of James and Second is this 1903 edifice built by the Balfour Brothers as a general store. And look at North. Built in 1904, and the building on the left originally housed the Lumsden News Record. And the meat market was originally the Methodist Church built in 1897 and used by that congregation to they built their new church south of the tracks down there in the early 1900s. The station was still right at the end of James Street here. And the new post office building there. The original rural post office of Carsdale was opened by Edward Kars just to the west of town on January the 1st, 1884, the mouth of the Wascana Creek. And this is the west side of James, looking down 4th Avenue. And more on the west side of James. Behind the community center on 4th is the covered rink. And you can see the curling rink down there. And there is the back of it there. And the outdoor rink. Lumsden is the headquarters of the rural municipality of Lumsden, number 189. And down by the Capel River is the cenotaph. School on the west end of town, Broad Street. This is 8th Avenue, Lumsden's Access Road. With the RCMP detachment. Behind and on top of the ridge is busy Highway 11. Regina is off to the southeast, to the right, about 25k. traffic on it there. Underpassing Highway 11 is Highway 8. Going up to Capella Valley to Craven, about 7k away. And this is an old bridge over an oxbow of the Capel River. Capel was very prone to flooding, 1904 being a big flood and the last one being in 1972 after which the stream bed was channelized and diked, protecting the town and these 
beautiful bowl diamonds. Home of the Jets. And some of the lovely houses that Lumsden boasts. The Cooney residence dating from 1905. And from that year as well, the Anderson House on James Street. And behind it on King Street is Lumsden United Church, built as St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church in 1907. Nearby was the Wesley and Wesley Methodist Church. You can see the cornerstone there. After unification of the churches in 1925, the Methodist Church was sold off and torn down. Only the cornerstone was saved. St. Andrews United. Down on 2nd Avenue is this church that was moved in from near Condi in 1947, I think, now known as All Saints Anglican, was built as St. James, 1899. Lumsden appears to be well churched. Hidden away off Capel Drive is this little collection of antique buildings from the neighborhood. Not sure where Forest Church was or in place to originally. Still got your BA Velvet 98. Well, I guess you still can't get it. I thought the train station would be here, but I haven't found it. Nice machinery collection down here. And on the east end of town. Capel Drive, also known as Saskatchewan 734, the old number 11 highway. Down in the valley to the right there is where the old Capel Long Lake and Saskatchewan Railway curved away to the north up the valley towards Craven. The CPR diverged from the route there and built the present rail line up through Saskatoon and on to Prince Albert. They were going to build the station at the bend there on James Wesley Reynolds property but he was asking too much money for it so they moved it one and a half miles to the west to a place the settlers called Happy Hollow since 1881 and in honor of their supervising engineer Hugh D. Lumsden they renamed the settlement. I should mention that the Lumsden Milling and Grain Company had a mill and two elevators standing trackside by 1904. Come 1911, the Royal Elevator was present as well as C.C. Turner and Company. The last one was closed by the Saskatchewan Wheat Pool in 1996, and they're all gone now. Lumsden, Saskatchewan. And I have some bonus footage for you. This is on the old Highway 11 to the southeast of Lumsden, maybe 10k, and it's the original site of St. James Church near Condy. The horizon is the north face of Regina Ridge. The city of Regina is just beyond that and off to the left. This is the bed of Glacial Lake Regina. Really 
good farmland and known for decades as Canada's breadbasket. Yonder is Boggy Creek School number 64, abandoned for years and now a private residence.